this will sound pretentious, and I don't mean it to sound pretentious, so bear with me. I don't really think you can understand Taoism if you don't engage in a Taoist practice. You'll, you'll bring the wrong meanings to terms, right? I mean, Taoism is like making love or swimming. You don't really understand it until you do it, right? And you, if you talk about it and you've never done it, you're going to misunderstand it. Well, what I started doing is I started practicing Tai Chi. And then I've learned five forms of Tai Chi. I did some Qigong, right? Um, things like that. Some Yichuan, Jan Zheng, all of these practices. And then, then I started reading people like, you know, uh, like, you know, Alan Watts has had a lot on Taoism, uh, well, the watercourse way, Taoism, the way beyond seeking, things like that. But I, I, I can't emphasize enough my first point. If you don't do these practices, Right, your understanding of this stuff is, is, is going to be sort of seriously skewed, because I've seen that sort of in. I mean, I, I don't have any you know academic evidence, but I've got a lot of sort of anecdotal evidence that people get it only after they're doing the practice. Uh, for Buddhism, I mean, there's lots of good books on it. I would recommend the same thing. I would recommend if you want to understand Buddhism, that in addition to reading you know, Rapula's book on what the Buddha taught, or some of the books like that, you also take up some of the books on meditative practice. And you know, Cornfield and Goldstein, they have a series of books on Vipassana meditation that are excellent. So not only do they teach you the Buddhist philosophy, they teach you, they teach you the practice that gives you the actual, you, know, you have to taste this. You have to really love it, to, in this sense I'm talking about here, to understand it. You have to know it by loving it. If I could actually offer one more, I mean, those are all amazing situa uh, suggestions. Um, sure. The Tao Te Ching, which is Lao Tzu, the, the fundamental yeah. Yeah. text that comes out of Taoism, um, a guy called Stephen Amos did a translation on one of the earliest uh, texts that's available. Um, if you're looking for kind of an intellectual framework, I mean, as John says, it's, it's very much an experiential thing, but if you're looking for kind of an intellectual framework to approach it from, his philosophical translation um, really, I think, that is probably the best explication I've seen. Um, he's a highly respected academic in the East Asian studies field. He's taught at the University of Beijing, so even the Chinese themselves respect the way he approaches it. Um, so, you know. Can I one thing to that? If you're going to read, don't just, re I don't, read Lao Tse, don't, not read Lao Tse, but if you're going to read Lao Tse, read Chuangzi too. Absolutely. Okay, um, you need to read both. Like chocolate and peanut butter, two great <laughs> tastes that go together.